Ciao, this is Chariot. Yeah, we thought um, start Walter in uh, 1986 and we rehearsing uh, that time very well, nearly every day. And we worked work it daily, Katsu, me and Sale, that time we worked every day, daily, and then sometimes we rehearsing before work. Uh, starting like six o'clock, you know, but morning, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't continue that not so long. But yeah, we made that time two lot of kicks. Nearly every week we make uh, one kick or more. Uh, it doesn't play any real festivals or or. Not so much in clubs, mostly kind of uh, every kind of uh, kicks, like some student parties and uh, market happenings and uh, everybody, some birthday parties and uh, sometimes sometimes we have to stop after one song, first song. We was in wrong play. We were in wrong place, uh, playing too loud or too energetic music. Or, there was happening a lot of things, and uh, but one of the strangest uh, kick we ever, ever made was um, uh, there was some uh, horse happening at Helsinki, and somebody asked us to play there. Okay, of course we went to play there, and we played their kick only to horses. Think, only the audience was just horses. But, um, after two weeks, after two weeks, we composing song called Hevosen Kuva, a picture of horse. You, re you re remember this song? <laughs> It came out in a Monk Punk album a few years later. But yeah, think that. Uh, is it a true or false, this uh, story of that strange kick? <laughs> Ciao. Hi, it's Katze. Everybody knows <clears throat> that uh, composing can be sometimes very demanding task. Sometimes you don't have any ideas. Sometimes you just have to start to work and wait that the inspiration comes along with working. But I want to tell you something. 80% of all my compositions will be thrown to trash during the composing process for the album or will be left over for the future, possible future needs. True or false?